Hi, my name is Alicia Brooks, and I'm a writing coach, and I'm a writer of several novels and screenplays, and a writer's book just for you. It's called Crush Writer's Block Forever, and I want to help you overcome writer's block for good. Hey guys, welcome back to your writer's course, Writing Beyond the Block. So I want to talk to you about message. Message is very important in your writing. Okay, everyone has a message that they'd like to share. Um, even if you think you're just writing for yourself, actually, that's not true. You are writing for an audience. If you intend to write as a career uh, for money, you write for an audience. Um, of course, if it entertains you, that's lovely. And it should entertain you. If you're bored from your writing, you're doing something wrong. First of all, what is your message? A message is the theme. It's it's the blood that is running through the script, right? So obviously we know in a, in a human body, the blood brings oxygen to the heart and the brain, everything. It, it brings oxygen everywhere to all of your organs. And, um, and so what is the message, the theme? So for an example, in a script or in a movie about a family, you could say, um, the theme is blood is thicker than water, right? So figure out, so what is the message you're trying to communicate? And by the way, in um, nonfiction, there is a message as well. There's an educational message that you're trying to put out. And, and in those senses, your message could be multiple. So you could have multiple messages uh, in each chapter the audience, your reader is learning something. So don't think just because it's nonfiction that there's no message. Uh, you're still trying to communicate a message, whether it's an educational book or it's a non-fictional biography, you are still communicating a message. The second thing is to decide how you're communicating the message. Now, as a writer, there are several different ways to write something. A uh, songwriter, for instance, communicates their message by song and by lyrics. Um, their melody also is a form of, of the message. So their, that particular way is um, obviously not what we're discussing, but they do have a message. So you decide how you're going to communicate that message. Are you a novelist? Are you a screenplay writer? Are you a TV writer? Um, are you a poet? So what kind of of medium are you putting your message to. The third part of that is who is your audience? I kind of touched upon this because some artists uh, get an idea that, oh, this is this is only for me. The, this is my one true love and this is my pet project and, and I'm doing it for me. But honestly, you have an audience no matter what. So you have to think with who is my audience. Now you can have a very, very precise, small audience. You can have something that's uh, rather small and that's totally fine. You know, if you're doing some kind of show art and, um, and you know, you know, you have to know this, you know that this is for a specific type of audience, like, hey, maybe you're, you're doing something for cancer nurses. Maybe you're doing something just for um, children with cancer. You know, this is a very defined, precise audience. So you really do need to know who your audience is because that message may not communicate properly to one audience versus it communicating exactly the right thing to another audience. So really define that, okay? Um, then you're going to prepare a synopsis or an outline or both. I would do uh, obviously the outline first and then go through your synopsis. You're gonna go through that and look at it and see, have I communicated my message in this? You know, where is this theme? You got to make sure that the theme runs through. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to look at how you've done it all and see, okay, what does not contribute to that message? What is communicating some other message that you don't want communicated or even 
the contrary message may not may not want to communicate that contrary message. You may have a reason why you're doing it versus, okay, it just does not belong. Listen, we do not want to confuse our audience. If we're sticking to a message, let's stick to it. Because at the end, listen, in writing, we're dealing with character arcs. So if the beginning message is communicating, oh my God, um, family, you cannot trust family. That's the message. So by the end of that, if you have a character arc where now his family has really come through for him, obviously there's that. And you have a win at the end that, you know, well, this this particular thought was incorrect um, or at least it got fixed, that kind of thing. Um, but anything else during the story and during the climax and during the the important scenes, you're going to have to have that theme, that message running through. If you don't have that message running through or you have a contrary message or a confusing message, you take that out. So that is about message. And um, if you like, go ahead and take a moment here to really look at your message and have you communicated it properly. Um, or if you don't have a message, you should figure that out. Okay, great. If this video has inspired you and you'd like to know more, send me a message below.